Hey everyone, I'm Tamara Krinsky with the Red Carpet Report. I'm here on the set of the ABC Family hit show, The Fosters. They had an incredible season one, and we're going to talk to the cast about what we can expect in season two. All right, so Hayden, how are you feeling heading into season two? A lot happened for Jude at the end of season one. Definitely. Um, I'm very excited. I'm super pumped to see, um, to get to show the fans a lot of what we've done and a lot of stuff that happens with Jude. Now, one of the things um, that's so significant is that Jude gets adopted. Callie doesn't. How do you think that's going to affect their relationship? Um, Jude, he's always felt very comfortable at the Foster's home, and he's always felt like they're a really steady family, and that you know he's very comfortable there. Um, he was always a little worried about someone taking him from the home or taking Callie from the home. Um, but now that he's adopted, that can't happen. But it can still happen to Callie, and so he's even more scared because not only will she get taken, she'll get taken away from him. They won't go together. So it's it's a very, very big thing for Jude. And there, I mean, this is a pretty intense show. There are a lot of issues. They temper it with a lot of humor. But for you, what's been the most interesting thing that you've learned over the course of season one? There's a lot of new information coming down the pike here. Yeah, I, uh, I learned a lot about the foster care system. Yeah. I feel like that's something that everybody's really learned about because it's not something that you really think about. It's not something that you, you know, go home and study and read about because that's just not something that you do. Um, but it's really cool to get to see all of the different uh, story, hear all the different stories and see all the different faces and hear all the different names and really see these people, you know, what they go through. It's yeah. really, it's really cool. Has it changed the way that you view the, de the definition of what family is or what a parent is? Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, you know, a family, just like the show says, DNA doesn't make a family love does. I definitely think that that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so tell us a little bit more about, are we going to see any more of, you know, your um, your love life happening in season two? Um, I don't I think that Jude's still very young, so he's still going through a lot of other problems with school and, and yeah. stuff like that, um, and with his sister. Uh, but I don't think too much. I mean, we, we find out a little bit about it. Obviously, um, Jude has not... Uh, is, is, uh, starts to kind of explore his sexuality a little bit more because he doesn't, he doesn't really know. He's never thought about it because he's always been busy with other stuff. So he definitely uh, explores that a little bit more. We don't get a, a definite answer, but it's, it's very cool. Well, that's actually one of the things that I love about the show. Um, there's a lot of subtlety with, you know, making sure that things are age appropriate and um, making sure that there's a lot of questions and not answers, which is what happens when you're in the middle of growing up. We don't get all the answers we want right away. Yeah, for sure. And then tell me a little bit about what it's like in working with Terry. It's great. She's, she's so energetic and funny and so kind. She's always so very nice to people. And if you ever need anything and you go to her, she'll always make sure that you're okay or that you have it. And she's a, she's a great actress to work with as well. I mean, she can play those different characters, uh, different emotions where she's happy or sad or, you know, something angers her or something makes her happy. I mean, she's, she's great and she's really fun to work with. Awesome. And then right behind us, so we're on the school set right now, right behind us, there are a lot of club posters from the school. <laughs> so if, if you were going to be in one of these clubs, we've got anime, we've got um, the Anchor Beach Jazz Band, we've got right. photographers, which would you choose? I would definitely choose anime. I'm yeah. huge into computers and mm -hmm. um, stuff like that, so I would definitely choose anime. Nice. Would you want to do a voiceover anime character if you could? Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually I've done some voiceover stuff, and that's fun, so I definitely think it would be cool to do it for school. Nice. And the other thing about that's cool about voiceover work is you can play something or someone who is very unlike yourself or doesn't exist in the world, so what, what would you want to voice if you could? I would want to voice uh, like a villain, like a... But not like a scary villain, not like one of those villains that you really fear, one of those villains right. that people kind of laugh at. Nice. That's definitely what I would want to do. And those are always fan favorites, so that's oh, yeah, fun. Of course. <laughs> nice. So um, when we head into season two, I know you guys are up into season nine or, or episode nine right now. <laughs> well, I hope you guys get there, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what? We'll be celebrating your wedding by then. Or at least maybe going off to college. I don't know. Somewhere. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, what are you most excited for fans to see? I'm excited to see uh, about um, the baby, because we, we just saw that Lena and Steph are trying to have a baby, and Lena is pregnant. Um, that's that's a very cool storyline of what happens with that. Uh, and I also think it'd be cool for, uh, you know, the idea of having a little boy or girl running around with all the fosters. It'd be pretty You're cool. finally not the youngest anymore. No, right? Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Excellent. Well, we look forward to seeing it, and best of luck with season two. Okay, thank Thanks so much for watching our coverage of the Fosters. If you like the video, hit like, and if you want to see more, hit subscribe. And leave us a comment telling us what you're looking forward to in season two of the Fosters.